keeping an eye on a wildfire in the Columbia River Gorge. The tunnel started, uh, the Tunnel 5 fire started at about 11.30 today. It is burning in Skamania County, Washington, near the town of Underwood. At last check, 150 acres have burned, but firefighters can't determine the exact size at this point. At least 100 buildings are threatened, at last word. Level 3 evacuation orders are in effect, which means go now. The Skamania County Sheriff's Office is putting out reverse 911 alerts to those who need to leave and have also been going door to door. The evacuation center is set up at the Skamania County Fairgrounds in Stevenson, where the Red Cross is helping people. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom is in the gorge with the latest developments. Well, take a look at what we're seeing right now from across the river. And at last check, this fire has burned 150 acres. But recently, crews said they're not sure how much higher that number actually is. And from our position, it appears the hotter flames are mostly towards the east side. And we've learned evacuations in some areas have increased. And we spoke with some of those evacuees. I was at home packing, and I looked out my window and saw a big flume. When she saw what you're seeing from her nearby home, Angie Shelton called her daughter, Jaden, who then called the Skamania County Sheriff's non-emergency line and learned her mom had to get out of there and fast. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Angie says she's lost a home to a fire in the past and grabbed the things that count, but had to leave some things behind. Yeah. Just knowing that she got out safe and everything else can be replaced. Aww. I love you. The fire drew onlookers. Some reminded of fires in the past. Unfortunately, it's same thing another year. That's what we have every year, it seems like. Crews say the flames have already taken out some structures and are threatening nearby homes. Definitely a community of people up there, so it'll be really sad to see, you know, if houses do go. Some in the thick of the flames had firefighters knocking at their doors, telling them to get out, while others got phone calls. Immediate evacuation for your area. Wildfire is continuing to spread. Authorities are directing those affected to the Skamania County Fairgrounds where the Red Cross is set up and ready to help evacuees. If you're out there and you need shelter from this fire, we're welcome to have you. Rafael Rodriguez and his family are some of the people seeking shelter. He says he was at work when his in-laws were greeted by firefighters at their front door due to the approaching flames. Which was like right next to our house, so they, they rushed everyone out and they were in a, in a, in a hurry, you know, kind of yelling like, not really giving them an option, you know, because it's a it's a fire, you know. When he got off work, he had nowhere to go. He says he never thought he and his family would wind up in this position. Says he's in shock. Feels like this is just one thing after another. You know, last month I, I lost my mom. So now this going on, it's just, it feels like, you know, I just can't catch a break, you know. Just, uh, you kind of feel it, you know, just bam, get smacked in the face again, you know. So it's tough, it's tough. Through these tough times, he's happy that he can lean on his family, who he says, despite the uncertainty, is full of laughs. It's a struggle, you know, it's a challenge, but life without challenges is it's, it's easy, but you really won't do much, you know? As long as I got my wife and them, you know, everything will be all right. The Red Cross says they'll be at the Skamania County Fairgrounds until they're no longer needed. Also, the fairgrounds do have room for large and small animals. We did run into one woman who brought her horses there. Reporting in Hood River, I'm Jeffrey Limblum for Fox 12 Oregon. All right, the weather obviously, uh, uh, you know, big factor in a mm -hmm. fire like this. Let's check in with Camilla Ortiz now for the latest. Yeah. And Pete, you know, the good news is if this fire would have started yesterday, it was super gusty through uh, that area of the gorge yesterday. Still pretty breezy through there today, but we're going to continue to see the wind gusts uh, decreasing over the next couple of days. So let's take a look at the forecast here, uh, kind of honing in on the central and eastern gorge. So if you take a look around Hood River, Rowena, we're seeing the uh, wind gusts there for tomorrow afternoon and evening right around 20 miles per hour. And then as we get into Tuesday, we'll see that decreasing even more because we're going to be switching to an offshore flow. So things kind of go a little bit calmer in between. Uh, here